Welcome friends. In this video, we will learn how to convert XLS file to CSV format in C-sharp.net using Aspos.cells API. For any prerequisite video, please check our video description. It is very easy to convert XLS to CSV using Aspos.cells. You can do it with only two lines of code. Let's open our input directory where our sample XLS file is present. Here is our XLS file. Before converting it to CSV format, let's view it in Microsoft Excel application. We have already set up everything. We have created the console application project and added the reference of most recent version of Aspos.cells DLL using NuGet. You can view our former video that teaches how to create console application project and install Aspos.cells using NuGet. We have provided its link in our video description. Let's understand the sample code step by step and then execute it. As the comment says, this is the directory path where our input XLS file is present and where output CSV file will be created after the execution of this code. In this line, we are loading input XLS file that we viewed earlier in Microsoft Excel application inside the Aspos.cells workbook object. In this line, we are simply saving Aspos.cells workbook object in CSV format. This will convert our XLS file to CSV format. If you want to execute entire code at once, please press F5 or Ctrl plus F5. Or you can execute it step by step by pressing F10. Let's press F10 and execute it step by step. We are done executing the code. Let's check the output directory where aspos.cells have generated the converted CSV file. Here is our converted CSV file. Let's double click to view it in Microsoft Excel. Since CSV is a text based comma separate file, so you can also view it in Notepad. Here you can see, XLS has successfully been converted to CSV format. If you open the output CSV file in Notepad, it will look like this. That's it. Thanks for watching this video. Please do not forget to watch video description because sometime we share important information inside the description for example, sample code, sample files, output files, and links to related articles and various resources. Goodbye.